how do parents decide trait X is more important than trait Y? Um, you know, what, what, what do these conversations look like? Yeah, good. I'm actually not usually on them because we have a full-time certified genetic counselor that kind of helps people interpret their results. And the truth is, you know, even really bright early adopters of this, and we've had about 80 customers so far go through the process at one stage or another, not 80 babies born yet, maybe a dozen, but, but um, so we've got some experience walking people through, the genetic counselor does, and, you know, from my understanding and talking to at least some of the, some of the clients, you know, they're, they're looking at especially disease traits. Um, typically, the ones they focus on most are the ones that run in their family or that would have devastating early life impacts. But, you know, sometimes it's a little bit arbitrary. We did have one case. They didn't end up being customers, so I guess I can just say it. One case of, like, an actress who just obsessively, you know, it's like, I just want blue eyes or whatever, you know. And, and um, you know, we're not even doing eye color anyway. But, you know, there's, a, there's occasionally people who are, like, really into an aesthetic trait or maybe they're very short and they just want, like, taller sons or something. But it's typically, you know, priorities are minimizing inherited disease. We have about, you know, a couple dozen disease predictors, not quite that, but close to that.